Hey everybody, Texas Stroke here, Lance is performing the chef Lone Star Mopars.com. It is Friday night, it is 7.02 p.m. and there's snow and thunderstorms and all kinds of stuff backtracking and of course it's going to get cold because it's the weekend. That said, I've got dinner in the oven and it's uh, kind of cold out here, not too bad, but I've had this, uh, I don't know, maybe two weeks now. It's a big box, won't fit here, but I gotta be honest, I've been cheating you a little bit here lately. Uh, cool stuff from Nepros, KC Tool, etc. comes in and I just can't help myself. I typically have it shipped to work, right? And what I'll do is I'll be so excited I kind of take a look at it ahead of time. And that's cool for me, but it's kind of sad for you because you miss out on the genuine reaction. You know, you can never recreate an initial or a first impression in my opinion. Uh, whether that be one of wonderlust or disgust, it's kind of lost, and I, there's nothing I can do when I've already taken a look at it, right? So, this will possibly have to be pulled away just because it's such a large box, but there's an interesting story on these you may or may not know based on the title. I'm going to lift this up and make sure there's not a packing slip right on the top. It may have direct shipped. One second. Okay, so I did my best. I just kind of reached in and felt out the paperwork. And I gotta say, the box is a little bit overkill. But what's cool about this is I've never seen these in person. I've never seen them online. I've never seen videos or pictures or descriptions or anything. And here they are uh, in... <laughs> I don't know why that box was selected, but you know I won't question it. It got to me in a decent amount of time. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you more screwdrivers now i know what you're thinking more screwdrivers and that is absolutely correct when i told you i wanted to do a comprehensive search for what i felt were the best screwdrivers i was not joking <laughs> i was serious so uh the story behind this is actually interesting this is from astro pneumatic it's their part number 9509 and the way i found these is because i've been trying to buy their cold chisel set for probably close to a year now I had a very pressing need for it here within like the past four to six weeks and it's always out of stock on Amazon uh, the few times I've actually seen an estimated re-arrival date is like months off in the future it's the same way like with Summit or anyone else that stocks Astro stuff it's always eh, it my ship you know four to six weeks in the future type of a thing that doesn't really set well with me and it's super cheap uh, like the cold chisels are under 20 bucks their um, pin punches and stuff I think is like 14 it's very reasonable uh, I'm sure they're similar I don't know what it is with punches and chisels but they are an absolute pain for me to acquire online so uh, that is how I found these I was like screw it I'm tired of jumping through these hoops waiting around I'm going straight to the website I'm gonna see if I can just go direct buy from the horse's mouth whatever you want to call it and that's where I found these. I had no idea Astro even made standard hand tool screwdrivers. I'm familiar with them particularly uh, from crimpers, which I've got one of those I've been using. I've never, I don't think, made a video or published it. Uh, it's working great. Uh, but mainly their air tools, uh, sort of how I know of them. Uh, some people bring in their air tools and they're like stubby impacts, which is pretty cool stuff. But bottom line, it's a neat company that makes some cool stuff that not only is initially impressive, but actually holds up and lasts, at least based on my experience and what I've heard from others. So, Amazon prices on these, they've ranged from like 28 to 35 I think right now the cheapest I saw was like 31 uh, through Summit, I was able to get these for, I think, like 21 something When I first looked, they were 23 just north of 20 bucks. But these were actually free for me. I'll tell you how. It's kind of a cool story, kind of a sad story. A while back, I'd made a work light shootout here, and the newest one I brought in from Summit, I think it was like Econolite brand, had the really nice cord I bragged about that was really long and had a lot of good things going for it it was the traditional drop light but with the led bulb you know and turns out that thing is a fire hazard it shorted out on multiple people and <laughs> they did a recall summit issued a full refund and no questions asked and then if you filled out a form that said you were destroying the light weren't going to use it whatever they actually issued you summit bucks or a gift certificate of 25 dollars there you go that's how I acquired and justified getting this set however it did look really cool 
And from the screwdriver side of things, these were totally different than anything I'd seen, anything I've ever seen, and there was something I wanted to bring in and try out. So um, they feel pretty good in the back. I mean, just based on the heft here, I believe it is an eight piece set, but I mean, they don't feel dinky. Uh, they have that heft, all right? The channel locks we brought in that kind of disappointed me, they didn't have the same heft. But once again, Summit Racing is where I got mine. I will tell you, they were not stocked there either. Uh, they got the stock in sometime a little bit before Valentine's Day and then shipped it out. This is the 22nd. I think it shipped out like the 12th or something, a couple days earlier than expected. Realistically, I should have bought the freaking chisels. <laughs> so, live and learn. This is go through basically striking cap if you want to kind of replicate that with terminology we have used recently. Uh, packaging is actually kind of cool, I have to say. Dual material handle provides a no slip grip while resisting oils and chemicals. Now, that's a big deal because a lot of the stuff we've brought in isn't necessarily designed to be used in nasty jobs, i.e. underneath a car, in solvents and chemicals, oils, fuels. <laughs> uh, the ethanol and fuel eats through freaking everything, and I'm imagining it would do the same thing to screwdrivers. Some of them I brought in. Uh, so these will be interesting in that regard now. It's a go-through slash striking cap design. Steel core from the tip to the handle cap for handling maximum abuse. They just flat out put it out there. I like that. Uh, and they do feature kind of like our channel logs, magnetic tips. And then the size and screw type will be printed on the striker caps for quick reference. I kind of see why you would do that with most screwdrivers with a striking cap screwdriver. Provided it's used in that manner, that kind of seems superfluous and you would think that they would reorient it to the shaft maybe. We'll see if they did that. Uh, it would be beneficial, like, if you're never going to use one as a striking cap, it'll look cool and be unique and easily identifiable in a holder or rack, uh, service carts, etc. But once you start abusing it, hitting it with the hammers, you know, that's just, I imagine, going to wear off. So it is nice to see it there in the event that it doesn't be subjected to that treatment, but, you know, it is what it is now. What I do like down here is what is included. They break it down for us. Uh, so slotted, we've got four screwdrivers. We've got a 3 8 by 8. We've got a 5 16 by 6 inch, a quarter by 4, and a quarter by 1 and 1 half. So uh, that'll be our stubby. Then we've got a 4 inch, our 5 16 we're jumping up 2 inches, and then our 3 8 we jump up another 2 inches. Uh, Phillips, or slotted I should say, will be blue, and Phillips will kind of be green. I'm very excited to see what this feels like because I based on the pictures kind of have a notion in my head of what it will be similar to and it's either going to be really neat or terrible and we're going to find out in phillips though check this out i'm very happy again it's green that's kind of throwing me off but uh, we get a number two by inch and a half so same length on our stubbies there uh, and the number one is going to be a three inch shaft the number two which probably will be the most used will be a four and then this is interesting this is very very interesting and I believe this will become the longest shafted Phillips screwdriver I own now the number three is 10 inches long when I have purchased special standalone ones to complete sets or like with my one of the Vera's I brought in to get a feel for their handles eight inches seems really long to me so this is 10 it's gonna be crazy and again there is a good look at the packaging for you but let's kind of Let's kind of see what you think of that. I'm showing it to you here through the packaging. The best... Ooh, I can feel it. <laughs> I'll, I'll hold off until it's free from the packaging. What I want to know from you right now, what do you think of this initial presentation? I bought a lot of screwdriver sets. This is boxed. You can't necessarily feel it, inspect the tips, uh, so on and so forth. It's very heavy, evidenced by the fact it's in a cardboard box and has two tangs. Uh, to be held out so uh, the racks that are holding these they've said hey this is a significantly heavy item let's bolster it you know double it up if you will that's interesting the other thing that I find interesting is they seem to have spent decent money on this it's not blatantly over the top but it's also not bare bones it's not a cheap blister pack it's a cardboard box which I hope will be easy for us to get access to and then the combination of green and blue with the gray. I'm talking straight up aesthetics here. This has no bearing or impact on how the tool will perform, uh, how it will last, anything of measurable quantities. This is just sort of a straight up, let's talk about what it looks like. 
very unique in my opinion and I'm excited to see it out of the plastic but let me know your thoughts on this real quick I might take some pictures real quick with my phone while it's still sealed uh, that way I'll have them for uh, thumbnails or Instagram posts or something because again I have never seen anything on these so uh, it's looking like a pretty decent set I have to say especially for the price point I'm gonna go ahead and grab some beauty shots before I screw everything up and we will be back to take an extended look all right party's over it's actually kind of hard to get a good shot <laughs> in terms of just hey check these out that's it what does it look like not bad first impressions I gotta tell you I'm pretty impressed by what I've seen I'm gonna fold this back so I can pull this out we got a one-year limited warranty. It is an eight-piece set, as you saw on the back side and what we estimated earlier. Uh, this is actually kind of a detailed flyer, I must say. So parts breakdown, very cool. We've got standalone part numbers now. Something Astro is notorious for, and I know this because I've attempted to buy crimp and die sets for my crimper that didn't come with the crimper originally. And you can't actually get the standalone dies, right? If, for example, the open barrel terminals, I could buy a crimper that does standard, you know, insulated, non-insulated terminals and also can handle spark plugs. It could theoretically take the jaws that would do open barrel terminals, weather pack stuff. The problem is they don't sell them standalone, so I don't know if these part numbers would mean anything. But uh, it's essentially... It's going to start 95091 on the slotted. That's going to be our big one. 2, 3, and 4. And then down in the Phillips, we go 5 through 8. So 95091 through 95098 account for the 8 unique screwdrivers. And then ultimately, the next part number up, 9509, is the complete set. I'm assuming if we broke one and they did honor the warranty let's say in two weeks i'm using that and it breaks i would assume then they would send out a standalone maybe that's why it's the way it is i don't exactly know <laughs> i'm not going to take the time to read that but one year limited warranty um nothing different there so that said let's slide this out and get to what really matters and i'm curious if this is a little tray of some sort or if it's just like a really good plastic Oh, that's satisfying. There they are, in all their concealed glory. <laughs> and Okay. It's kind of a cheap plastic tray, I think, that's just sort of stretch-strapped out over the top. But uh, right there is an interesting picture for us. Let me kind of slide this camera forward a little bit, bring it back down. I'm doing everything I can to keep this thing in focus. We're doing good right now. I'm assuming, though, once I start trying to show the tips or the handles in detail, Probably running into some issues. So let's get the plastic off. The colors are popping already. I haven't looked at the camera to see if you're seeing what I see, but I tell you, uh, now that just that little thin layer of plastic wrap is off, the colors look way better. This is a, it's a pretty, pretty impressive aesthetic set. I will say that. So once again, blue handle will be slotted. Green handle will be our Phillips. Now let's go ahead and get started here with our slotted. This is just a cheap plastic tray. Some people keep these in their toolbox. I could see the merits of it. Uh, anything else realistically would be better. Okay, this is interesting. This is nothing along the lines of say the Viha soft finish. It's not a phyllo ergonomic. It's not anything along those lines. Uh, this is it's very hard. It's almost like if you were holding, seeing this blue glass kind of makes me think of like my grandmother and her antiques, you know, uh, salt and pepper shakers, flower vases, something along those lines. It doesn't feel like glass with the texture. Like that is, that's a gnarly texture. I don't know. I don't think it's going to showcase my thumb like I want it to. Let me try this one. It'll be easier for me to spin it around, but uh, right here. I'm just putting, you know, decent pressure on it, and then check that out. <laughs> like, if you couldn't see the pattern here, which I believe you can, you can see it in my thumb, <laughs> and 
it's one of those deals where it's kind of like barbells. You can pick up different barbells or different dumbbells in particular. Some of them have a knurl and they'll look exactly the same. You go and grab this one and it's just kind of loose in your hand, sort of like we were just grabbing, you know, the shaft or something. And then you grab the one that looks like the exact same knurl and it's super aggressive and just digs into your hand. That's kind of what this is. You know, this side here, it's it's not really I wouldn't say comfortable but I mean there's no texture and then when you get your hand on that man you're you're in for the long haul <laughs> it's uh it's gonna be digging into your skin pretty good so with our stubby here we've got the part number on the screwdriver itself which I'm thinking that's gonna come off now this side says magnetic something I might have liked to have seen you know I don't know, that's going to be real interesting. They did a great job there. It showcases that it's slotted. Uh, you would know from your stand or your cart, you know, that this is your stubby, of course. But something I would like to see is if they had integrated perhaps the opposite pad. Totally get having the company name on there, but instead of magnetic, you know, maybe put the size there for in the events that if we come in with this and start whaling away at our striking cap, we're not going to see it deteriorate as quickly type of a thing because uh, with some of these bigger you know these two look to have the exact same handle so are you grabbing you know your quarter or are you getting your 5 16 you're not necessarily going to know until you pull it out so uh, minor complaint but I mean it's like that with all striking caps that said that looks really good and this is our stubby so spinning it around we do have the hex bolster as well they're pretty heavy duty now magnets I should have grabbed something, something a little stronger uh, terminals knots and yeah, we'll just go go for the bag of tricks over here all right because this will give us a good feel for it and this is a fairly stubby screwdriver in comparison not by what i've brought in but i mean hey that's not bad i think we could make it better <laughs> so, in terms of the screw fitment nothing crazy but i mean it will hold the fastener with its magnetic pro properties which is nice how does it rank with my stubbiest of stubbies here from philo pretty pretty significant now the handle the actual handle here is about the same which that does become a liability at some points but the shaft length you can see is notably bigger with this one uh, that said this is also a striking cap so not sure you would run into a situation where you're using a stubby as a striking cap but if you did <laughs> now you know uh, so there's that one let's go ahead now and grab the quarter inch uh, tip with our four inch shaft That'll be a pretty common size. This will give us a better feel. I kind of like it. Uh, it's totally, totally different than anything I have brought in recently that I've used at work, that I've used in the past, that I've seen anyone have. I've never actually, that I can think of, seen anything remotely close to this. I also, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of dig that it's translucent. It's sort of taking part of the acetate experience and bringing it forward to kind of modern times if you will but uh i kind of i'm kind of liking them so for the price point let's just say you're able to get them for 25 and the channel lock set for 25 i think you'd be crazy not to go with this one personally now that's channel lock from china keep in mind it's not the you know american made channel lock but for a budget-friendly striking cap set, this is a crazy good deal. Uh, there's our stamping there. Let's go ahead and grab this one. This would be our 5 16 if I remember correctly, 6-inch shaft. Uh, comparison between the handles, that's pretty much the same thing, right? Uh, it's just the business end here, quarter by 4, business end here, 5 16 by 6-inch. So that's going to give you a good feel for how those are. Now, what I do like about these is in addition to you know the torque that we can get with the tread which some people will hate that i'm not gonna lie particularly if you are accustomed to soft finishes now or you're a bit of a screwdriver snob this is aggressive i would liken this to viha's micro finish however this of course is going to dig into you uh, the big thing with both of those is that these are going to be resistance antifreeze transmission fluid brake fluid and granted i'm sure we could probably deteriorate both of them over time but i mean it's a situation where if you're doing a job that's going to get your tools dirty and possibly compromise your super nice expensive filo organic or something 
this is a pretty solid alternative I'm thinking so uh, once again four inch six inch they feel pretty well balanced I mean you get a good feel for that if that matters some people value that others don't uh, I'm interested to see if the Phillips are actually denoted as to what size they are I think we picked the wrong slot corrected in my mistake before it became an error and this is the big daddy of them all in terms of our slotted size I believe what was this one now three eighths with an eight inch shaft this thing feels like it would take some abuse. I feel like we could totally not use this as a screwdriver and simply use it as a chisel. And again, at the price point, it might not be a bad option. So here's our tiny screw. <laughs> there it goes. It does seem to be, this has more surface area, obviously, than the little quarter inch tip. So I do think that that's directly conveyed to what we see in terms of the magnet. Uh, for example, I'm able to do that full vertical it flipped it around but I think just because we do have more surface area you see stronger magnetic properties exhibited but I gotta say aesthetically these are just so freaking unique and I mean you know I've brought in all kinds of crazy stuff from across the globe and for me to say something is unique <laughs> that's uh I don't know that it would technically count as high praise but it's certainly worth noting now on the Phillips side let's let's save what I'm concerned about for the end here the green are you feeling it? Do you like it? Is that your color? I kind of prefer the blue personally. Uh, I would love to have seen this in like an amber sort of. I know orange wouldn't turn out to be orange, hemi orange as I would like it. Um, but I could see, you know, like an amber. Kind of like if you've ever been around an old dude's shop and he's got some ancient acetate handles that have like been left outside or something. Regardless of the make, they all go from that like clear you know translucent plastics is sort of like this weird yellowy red burnt orange color uh, I think that would be a nice nice scene here I will figure out what size that is I'm assuming it's 10 millimeter <laughs> but let's go ahead and figure this out will this say what size of Phillips it is or just have the Phillips icon it's just gonna have the icon I was kind of hoping it you know had one two three so on and so forth indicated somehow but uh, if you ever do have these full vertical and couldn't see the colors which you kind of can around the cap to an extent that is a nice touch so uh, let's do a direct comparison Phillips to Phillips here again overall length of the handle quite similar now if I bottom the filo out I think it would be a little shorter but the shaft length that's where that filo really excels I mean that tells you everything you need to know uh, for my money this is still the stubbiest of the stubbies the offset screwdrivers are a lifesaver the bit driver is a nice option but if you got to have something sort of a ball in to spin quick or you use it frequently that filo uh, is a very very nice option so we'll spin that around and we're going to come in our number one i believe it was a three inch shaft if i'm not mistaken let me try and confirm that. That is correct. It actually feels pretty decent in hand, I gotta say. This gives you a better look at the green color, a little bigger scale. That is not something I did, obviously. We just opened these up. I'm not sure what that is. It's a blemish of some sort. It's almost like it, it looks like whoever was doing quality control was eating chocolate <laughs> and spun it now. Something I didn't actually see. I apologize. I guess because, you know, did the stubby not have it? The stubby does have it. I assumed underneath Astro it said pneumatic. This one does just give the part number, okay? But I've got to correct this. I'm sure some of you noticed. This does actually give the size quarter by four inch. I complain that, you know, instead of magnetic, we should... Oh, hey. <laughs> okay, this is better. This is good. I am impressed. Magnetic is here. I guess I just assumed it would all be the same there. My bad, because the stubby, obviously moving up to a decent size handle, has changed. Magnetic, which is a nice feature worth advertising, has moved here. It's in, you know, texted on both sides. We've got the part number on one side of the handle. And maybe this, to my credit, is what I was looking at. I don't know. But this does tell you this is your quarter by four. So these two that have the exact same length handle, as long as they're facing in the same manner, you can say, okay, where's my 5 16 And it's actually printed here. So striking cap itself will identify it as slotted. But then right here, very smartly done, you've got not only uh, the size of the tip, but the length of the shaft. So that is it's smart like i told you i've had very good luck with astro stuff 
And uh, aside from this, like, you know, chocolate stain, I don't know if we can clean that up. It's not a big deal, and luckily for me, it's on the side with the, you know, part number anyway, and I'd be more concerned about that side, which tells us it's quarter by three. Awesome. Now this right here, if you were to buy this as like your primary set of screwdrivers, this is what you would use the vast majority of the time. It would be your number two Phillips. It is a four inch shaft. There we go. There's a good look at the texture. And again, when you look at this, you think it would be like one of those gel stress ball types of a feel, you know, and I kind of thought it might have had some semblance of that over like a hard uh, inner core. This is just kind of an all business screwdriver. Uh, it doesn't, it's plastic, but it doesn't feel cheap. You know, some handles are just like, you know, disappointment, <laughs> rain supreme. It could be in part because, you know, the tang goes all the way through and it adds the heft that, you know, takes away that disillusionment. But this actually feels very good in hand. So there is our uh, number two, four inches long. And right here, this is the odd duck, uh, which could potentially come in very handy. And it almost seems to me like you would have your 3.8 slotted be the 10 inch screwdriver versus having the number three Phillips be the 10 inch. Like this is excessive. I cannot, it would have to be very specific of an application for this to be of importance to you. Like that's a full 10 inches. Uh, that's, that's pretty crazy. But in the event that you actually, you know, have an application where you're running a number three screw that requires you know that great of a length this is a godsend i'm sure <laughs> for me personally i kind of would have liked to have seen this capped at eight inches and then this three eight slotted actually be the 10 inch but that's just me thinking uh, ahead of time here now it is important to note as well these are hex shafts obviously you could probably tell with the you know bolstering there but right there that is the material that is what matters and We'll probably never see it, <laughs> but it's the good stuff. Uh, just take my word for it. Spin it around one side. We got the part number. Flip it over. Three by ten. Crazy. Let's go ahead. We've got the uh, Black Widow here, which should be great for video, given this huge blade. <laughs> We're going to come in, and basically right there from the handle to the tip, that's a full ten inches. That is a very large and in charge screwdriver now right here with our blue 3 8 Phillips this one should clock in at 8 inches that's just a little past it actually now if we get off of the bolster it's just a little bit shy so I'm not quite sure what they were doing in that regard but we'll give them the benefit of the doubt now what I want to do is take an 8 and a 10 and give you the direct comparison here they are side by side again I mean that 8 inch that you know anything past 6 really is of significance but check this out going tip to handle there that's the differential we've got an extra you know two inches in this regard so overall i am impressed now how they perform how long they're going to last do they hold up to abuse i don't know those answers just yet <laughs> but part of me hates doing it part of me says let's do it and uh, i think what i'll do I feel like 5 16ths would be most likely used. So what I'm going to do, uh, we're gonna, we did this with the channel lock. I'm bringing in this guy right here, just a three-pound sludge. And it looks beautiful, the Astro uh, CRV stamped on there, right? So let's do it. You ready? I'm going to go side to side, too, because, again, there's a camera on a tripod that makes things awkward. So I'll give it a pretty decent hit. Now, this one is domed. Uh, it's kind of like a slight saucer effect, right? I don't know if that'll prolong the life of the text or not, but let's let's do it and see what happens. Okay, I can see the impact right there where it's focusing, sort of right where the slot is. And there's what the uh, mallet's looking like. You can see the shiny spot right above the A, and a third time. I do think this will hold up better than channel. I, I think if we use these as chisels, which technically we shouldn't do, but probably will, uh, I think over time that will come off, but I mean, for frick's sake. If you use it, you're going to know blue is slotted. And they were so, so, so smart to actually put the size there. I'm a happy camper. I mean, you got to realize, these were free for me. So, that's awesome. I can't go wrong at all in that regard, but... Uh, factoring in, if you were to go out and purchase these, 
you would be looking at you know 20 sub 25 dollars from summit maybe around 30 on amazon if you tack them on with something else i think that's a very good deal now right here let's grab this awkward guy and i'm gonna bring it up you know the fitment on that screw is actually really nice too i'm assuming i don't know the country of origin on these but if it's China, they are one of the places that has very good quality control. Looking down the barrel there, you'll see that, you know, there's a slight little bit of black there, but I mean, where the tips are actually going, that's a very, very solid feel. It's a straight up full vertical. Keep in mind, it is magnetic, but uh, just to kind of give you a feel for it, <laughs> you know, pick it back up. And the main thing I'm concerned about is tip fitment, and that's really solid. So, I think we found a contender here. Uh, in terms of cheap striking cap screwdrivers, I don't know that you could do any better. Now, obviously, Philo's wood handle uh, could give them a run for them. They could really give anything a run for the money, in my opinion. But, if you're wanting to have something that you can take under the car, maybe you're out in the oil field. Um, I don't know if you're in any application where a wood handle would not be advantageous due to chemical interaction. These are... They're golden. So let me grab one of these things for you. Where did I put them? Oh, yeah. When you take a look at this, the channel lock one, which, again, I love channel lock. You can call me channel lock fanboy. I would not complain at all. I would, in fact, agree with it. This is their code blue from overseas. Now, some of the code blue, as I mentioned in that video, is American-made. These were roughly the same price, is what I'm trying to get at. I think the channel lock was a seven piece. I can't exactly remember now, but when you have, and they're both striking caps, so it's not like I'm, oh, this one's so light. This feels like a well thought out, well balanced tool. This does not. And that was in my left hand. I'm a right hand man, and I had that in my left hand and preferred it, <laughs> if that tells you anything. Just looking. At the striking cap, you can see sort of the difference in initial quality. The fact that the size is printed in, and I gotta say, these not only feel better in my hand personally, but the grip there, the texture, if you will, which I do think over time you're gonna wear that down. Like where it's really aggressive right now, give them a month of heavy use, and I mean, it'll still be the tack feel, but it's not gonna like tear your hands up, which mine are, you know, pretty much gator skin anyway, but uh, I don't know. If I had to tell you which one of these two, Channel Lock versus Astro, for the same price point, unless you just love, you know, you hate that aesthetic or you love this aesthetic, I believe that is the better tool. So we'll kind of keep tabs on them over time. Again, I'm going to abuse the snot out of these. Like, if, if these are going to fail, they're going to fail very soon. And with the Astros, I got to say, it's, it's pretty cool. Now, again, right here, this is a Weeha 3K, right? It's my personal, I love it. <laughs> like, uh, there's nothing I would change about this. It's dang near a perfect screwdriver for me. That said, is it going to be as resistant to chemicals? Probably not. It's certainly not a striking cap. These would serve a point. They would serve a place uh, for many people. One thing that's critical to note with any striking cap is you don't want to use this for electrical work. <laughs> you know, you, granted, you should have the power off, everything like that use the proper tools insulated screwdrivers for that but for general purpose slash demolition misuse provided you're getting them for the price i paid even though they were technically free this is a sweet setup and uh, with that said i've got dinner in the oven it is yeah it's done <laughs> so i'm gonna head in there it's about 10 minutes past due so these are awesome. These are Astro 9509s. I'll have a link to where I got them from Summit down below. I can link to Amazon for you too. My personal advice, unless you just hate Summit or don't deal with them, go with them because they're cheaper. Uh, if you're set up with Amazon, you're bringing stuff in, it might be advantageous just to stick with that. However, I'm super impressed with these and uh, I can't wait to actually try them out. So, With that said, let me know your thoughts. What do you think of the aesthetic of these? What do you think of their performance uh, potential as we saw, you know, a little bit more durable on the striking cap end, a little bit beefier, significantly heavier. Uh, what are your, what are your reactions? Because again, 
I saw nothing on these and uh, they're so different than anything I brought in. I mean, we've had the channel locks, we've had VHOS. Here's a cool, sweet US made acetate channel lock, right? Uh, we've got Fila, we got Germany, we got Japan, we got everything in here. This was just absolutely unique. And uh, I gotta say, I kind of like them. So uh, we'll kind of investigate the tips as we move on further. That's sort of what I'm doing, kind of behind the scenes. That said, let me know your thoughts on this. I got to get inside before I set something on fire. <laughs> and, uh, also, it sounds like the snow might be here because it's getting windier. So uh, let me know. And uh, in the meantime, make sure you follow along on Twitter. You can like us on Facebook. You can also follow along on Instagram. That's where I'm going to be posting these beauty shots. I told you I was trying to take these tools. And uh, from time to time, as I use these, I'll post them up, let you know how they're doing. And uh, eventually, you know, we'll have comprehensive analysis on everything. But it will take time. And uh, I need free time to have the time to do that. It's a dicey situation. LoneStarMopars.com is a website. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you back here for more action from the shop.